Good morning, family. Welcome back to another video with your girl Saint Seraphim. Over here, we do everything with truth and love. Goodness on spirit. Period, y'all. Oh my god, I had a lit ass dream last night, but it really spoke to you getting out of um or somebody getting out of a a very unfair situation. Um, almost like domestic violence because like, hey man, come on. The way I was like being ostracized or not ostracized, but like it was supposed to feel like vacation, but it wasn't, it wasn't. It started off really nice. And then the person who I was with, they ended up like wanting, like being with my friend and I caught them with my friend and like, but they had my stuff. And then I ended up telling somebody, and I was like, I'm leaving. Like, I just need my stuff. Like, I don't even care. You can have a nigga. And then, like, my friend brought me my stuff, but then she wanted to talk. And I'm like, I don't want to talk. Just bring me my stuff. Like, just give me my stuff. I don't care about none of that. Like, I'm not even mad. Just bring me my stuff. So the dude going to come out with my stuff. <clears throat> um, And it was a Virgo. The dude came out and brought me my stuff. Mind you, I've never been in a relationship with a Virgo before. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Yes, I have. I'm lying. Yes, I have. I definitely have. Um, he brought me my stuff, but it was like this road you had to go down, but like you didn't walk the road. You sat on the road and the road took you with it. Like that shit was moving fast. And the dude kept trying to catch up to me. So like to, in order for him to not catch up to me, I literally flung myself off the road and I like landed in the grass hard as hell but it was so he could like go past me and then i could get back on road and lol i could get back on road and like let the road like take me or whatever and it was like it was almost like a product being processed through like you know how like if you ever watched i used to watch how it's made all the time when i was a kid so it was like that it was like watching myself go through a process and like at the end there were these like people showing you how to like, they were showing you how to open up a wrap, but it was like, they were showing you how to open up yourself. And so after that, you get up and you're like, you're positioned wherever you need it to be. Um, and he wasn't nowhere near me, but I got sent back home. Like, where I live, like, I was in my neighborhood. But if you watch any of my vlogs on my vlogging channel, there's a specific place that I go. I have to go through, I have to pass a crossroads in order to get to a river in real life. And I go there often to meditate. Um, And that's where I went. But instead of going to the river, I've been to the river in my dreams before too. But instead of going to the river, there was like a whole nother like side, but it was like the darker side. Like, I was leaving my my side to go to, like, the shadows. And I was, like, passing mad people houses. It's like everybody on that side was partying. Like, at night, everybody party. Everybody doors is open. Everybody's having parties, get-togethers, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, like, as I'm walking through, like, I'm seeing people. I'm saying hi to people. It's like, whatever, whatever. And I didn't know where I was going, but I was just walking. Like, I just knew to go that way. And, like, I'm seeing people, I'm saying hi. Like, I'm seeing people I ain't seen in a long-ass time. Like, I'm saying, what's up? Like, feel me? What's good? This, that, and the third or whatever. And, like, there was this one dude. I reckon there's a red robin that just flew on the, like, telephone pole. It's, like, sitting right there. Like, it's right directly in my eyesight. And it just came. It's, like, it came closer just now. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. Um... And he was like, the dude, it was a random dude. And I'm like, well, it wasn't a random dude. I knew him in the dream. I don't know if I would recognize him in real life, but I knew him in the, oh, I know exactly who it is now. Oh, shit. He was like, he yelled my name and I looked and I saw who it was. And I kept walking because I'm like, I'm not about to play with you today. I'm not about to sit here and play with you today. And he was like, you better not get no boyfriend. I'm I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a pew pew just so uh in case you get a boyfriend so he know that my heart not with me it's with you and I'm just laughing and I just kept walking because he didn't follow me he just wanted me to hear what he had to say so I just kept walking and I ended up at this like big giant mansion um and like I walked through 
Um, I was walking through, I was seeing so many different people. Like, I'm saying hi to everybody, like elders, younger people, people my age. Like, I'm just walking through saying hi to everybody or whatever. And then I get, like, it's like I went through the back of the house, like the yard to get to the front of the house and like the driveway and shit like that. Um, where I met like the lady of the house, but she was throwing, the party was for me. This happens all the time where like I end up at a party, but the party is for me. Um, <clears throat> and like everybody was like, crowding around me and stuff because I was vlogging in the dream I'm always vlogging in my dreams I was vlogging um and like it was just so lit it was super lit like and it just felt like being so like after a long journey being celebrated by like not even the people that you want to be celebrated by but just like being recognized for who you are and being celebrated for who you are um and yeah it was beautiful. It was really nice. So I don't know how that resonates for some of y'all, but it was really beautiful. Like it was nice. It was like taking your taking your presence away from one person so that it can be appreciated by a bunch of people type shit. So let's just get into the reading. I'm supposed to be going to an Easter egg hunt today, but it's a little chilly outside. So I don't know about that. I don't like the cold personally. And I did want to go to an Easter egg hunt, but I had enough. Like, I felt like my wish was fulfilled in the dream. Like, so I don't feel like I need to go outside <laughs> and go to no Easter egg hunt. Like, I've been making Easter eggs. And that's a project that I'm working on. And you can see more of that in my vlogs. But, um, yeah. Like, I feel like, like you're going to feel less. If you don't already, you're not going to feel as much of a need to be seen. Like, go out, going outside and being seen. Like, because there's another way that people can see you in a way that you can be honored without them having to be, like, crowding in your energy. Because that was the thing. Like, everybody was trying to be in the camera or whatever. But I'm, like, I'm, like, letting everybody be in the camera and shit like that, like, while I was vlogging in the dream. But it was just, like, I didn't... It was, like, being an influencer. It was, like, something that they saw me doing... Everybody was trying to show me that they knew how to do it. And it was, I'm not even going to tell y'all what it was, but it was something, it ain't had nothing to do with tarot. It was something actually like really personal. <laughs> and everybody was showing me that they knew what it was. And like, I'm like, LOL, y'all are funny as hell. Like I kept telling them that like, y'all are funny as hell. Like, but it was like that. It was like, I was a celebrity. Like, <clears throat> it was wild. It was lit though. It was super lit. But I've never been to that part. I have never even knew that that, ex that part existed in, like, the Astro Realm. I be around my neighborhood, around my city all the time in the realm. But, like, i never been to that side. And it felt like home. That shit was crazy. Four of Wands. It's a completion. It's a happily ever after. It's a stable foundation. It's a, it's a stable commitment to power. Rather than, like, a forced commitment to, like, someone else's false authority. I'm hearing a super mook. I think it's called, I think it's just called Mooked by Boss of Quarter Waters Raise Me. I was listening to it in the shower the other day ago. I mean, the other day ago. The other day. But that album is actually, like, one of Boss's, like, I don't think it's his first project because it's volume two. But it's an early project. Like, I discovered Boss, who was my favorite rapper, when I was in... My freshman year of college. And I discovered that song because I had her lit. I had title and I used to just listen to listen to like songs on shuffle. Like just whatever came on. And lit by Boss with J. Cole came on. And they used a sample from Miguel, which is one of my another one of my favorite artists. So it was like it was like an artist that I liked introducing me to another artist that I liked because I used to listen to J. Cole pretty heavy too. And then when I found out that Boss was signed to Dreamville, like I literally, I didn't become obsessed with Boss, but he became my favorite rapper. Um, but the song is, should I tell my story? Or should I, my, this is MD and Boss. This is avant-garde. Um, mucked. Super mucked. I think it might be super mucked. I'm super mucked. So, uh, you'll never be higher than I am. 
You can look all of the sleeve. You can blow all of the... You'll never be higher than I am. So high. So high. So high. Hold up. Uh, quarter orders raise me volume two. Oh, it's a playlist because it's not official. It's not an official product project like that's on anywhere. But my two favorite songs from this, well, three. Oh, it's Mook Two. Listen to that. It's called Mook Two. But, oh, damn, it don't have the... I'm going to just play it. If I get copyrighted, whatever. Boss, smoking that good. No Reggie, no this. My niggas the cheers. Don't shit come between us. No money, no hoes. Don't shit come between us. How we play dirty, but step out the cleanest. She shit, bitch, learn to mean it. From here to Medina, I bag all the models. She's calling Medina, cause they are some goddesses. My politics don't got no policies. Just living life every day, no apologies. Apologies for the delay. I was up in the stars, rolling up on astrology. Economies in this array, but a couple of mixtapes gon' put me in the Ecology, ecology, ecology. That's green, nigga. Global warming, that's me. You wanna hot air balloon. You'll never be higher than I am. It's that. It's like this type of energy. Like you about to be the highest of it's like the highest of the high. Like it's like wherever you from, you about to put your city on the mat. Type shit. It's like I'm getting chills as I'm saying it. Like I'm genuinely getting chills. Like, man, I don't know, but you about to, bitch. It's about to be like people are gonna put their lights up for you. Put your lights up. Like that type energy. Like you're you're putting your city on the map type shit. Or you're putting it back on the map. Cause funny thing is, right, I live in the capital of New Jersey, but people don't know that Trenton, New Jersey used to be the capital of the United States at one point. Like, so many people don't know that. And then, like, because of other historical shit and whatever, 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 they end up making the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., like, the capital. But <clears throat> Trenton, New Jersey, like, the city that I live in used to be the capital of the United States. Like... But now it's just the capital of the state. <clears throat> This is Indian boss. This is oh my god, like it's about to be a big deal. Like, bro, it's a big deal. Nine of Swords. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Who is that? Ilk. That's like a complete opposite energy. King of Pentacles. So there could be, because the dude that I was leaving was a Virgo. So it could be a King of Pentacles that's in that Nine of. Source inner energy because other people are celebrating you. Mm, that's weird. I know a lot of Virgos. I've talked to a, a considerable amount of Virgos, but I've only ever dated one. Knight of Wands. Yeah, because it's like they're a King of Pentacles, but you're in like, you could even just be a Knight of Pentacles energy. Like you're not trying to be on top. You're just like standing in your power. <clears throat> And that shit is being respected. Somebody's standing on their money, but you're standing in your power. And that shit is legit being, like, just respected. Like, on a wholehearted, wholesome-ass level by everybody. Because, like, people can relate to you more than they can relate to this other person. And this don't even gotta be in your state. Like, this could be nationwide. This could be global. This could be, in like... Shit, I wanted to say galactic. But this could be, like... 
don't put no limit on how big this 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 will be. I'm going to say that. I ain't even going to say it might be because it's not something that might happen. It's something that will happen if it's not happening already. I feel like Mercury Retrograde is about to be really good for a lot of us. Strength card. And I'm going to be live streaming uh, during Mercury Retrograde, but it's going to be for members only. So if you don't have your membership already, you should totally get it. Um, I'm going to be buying some custom like not custom but some like special badges and stuff because i don't like the youtube badges they're ugly um but yeah which means that only members like only members will see the lives only members will be able to like be in the chat <clears throat> and all of that i mean even if i do it public it'll only members will only be able to be in the chat type shit so get your membership because i'm about to start doing like special shit for members like Y'all about to start getting special privileges, and that's just that on that. Ten of Wands. Yeah, because they couldn't make you fumble. You had to, you had strength. You, you're displaying strength. They can't make you fumble your energy. And that's why they're in the, in the Nine of Swords, because like they think their money can pay for anything. It can't. Their money means nothing. Money means nothing, like, it's cool, but, like, people who don't have money are going to relate to somebody who's not using money to try to, like, put themselves on a ped ped pedestal. They're going to relate to somebody who is, like, more of, like, a regular person. It's the pinnacles. Someone who is the pinnacle rather than someone who needs a pinnacle. So it's like you were the pinnacle that somebody else needed. You separated yourself from this person who, like, it's like they don't have no story if you're not there. They literally have no story without you. Oh, my goodness. They have no story without you. They can't use your power. They can't, like, distort your energy to use it against you. Like, you removed yourself. You reclaimed your power. And you're showing others how to do the same. This reminds me of, like, um, Harry Potter in the... Uh, Half Blood Prince, I think. Yeah, when at the end when Dumbledore died and everybody like put up their wands, it's like that. Like everybody about to show their respects. Like people about to come pay their respects, but it's not because you're dead. Like people usually do that when somebody's dead. Like no, everybody's about to come celebrate your life and pay respects to you. Like pay their respects. Because you're alive. Because you didn't die. Because you didn't let this energy overcome you. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Like, I'm here with Frankenstein. But, like, you're not a... I mean, even if people saw you as a monster before, who they, they, it's the person who thought they created you that's actually the monster. Who's trying to get credit for your existence. Because they might have... Because they cut you apart and put you back together. Like, no, bitch. Fuck you. <clears throat> I'm the star of this. I'm the star of this. Three of Pentacles. And people are going to be lifting you up. That reminds me of crowd surfing. It makes me think of cheer. My mom was showing me, sending me, like, cheer stuff the other day. Because I used to have, like... The one thing about, like, me on my team... One, I was the only black girl, but I also had the best jumps. Because back then, I was super flexible... So, like, my jumps used to be hyperextended. So, in all of our, like, in our routines, I will always be at the top of, the like, the jump sequence or whatever. Like, the, the, anybody, like, the jump sequence is usually a pyramid or something similar to it. Not like a, a vert, like a, not a, not this type of pyramid, but, like, this type of pyramid. And the person with the best jumps is usually right in the front. And I always had the best jumps. And, like, she was showing me somebody like that because the judge was, like, going crazy because, like, there was a girl from a team who had like some fi like fire as hyper extended like jumps, and she was showing me this. And she was like, "Remember how like your jumps used to be and shit like that?" And I'm like, "I miss cheer. I really do. I'm 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 pressed about having my own cheerleading team. Like, I will. That's something that I'm a I'm gonna do for my city for real. An all star cheerleading team. Like, I feel like young girls deserve that because that really that's what really put the fire in me. Like cheerleading made me." 
as strong as I am for real. Because that shit is mental. Like, it's mental. Come home with busted lips and black eyes and training for hours on hours on hours. Starting, like, now. Because you this is, like, world season. And then after Worlds, auditions in, like, May, June. And then if you get, like, chosen for a team or whatever, like, you literally train, you condition all summer and le while learning a routine. And then competition season starts in, like, September, November, like, between September and November. And then from them months, like, up until this time again, like, you're literally going to competitions, like, every weekend, sometimes, like, twice a week doing this routine that you literally perfected like you damn near go on tour like and you, you you do your best to make it to championships to make it to worlds whatever like and it's you and your team bro it's hard to not like other people on your team because of how hard you done. like it's not about none of that shit like bro it really is about how hard... Like, watch Bring It On. If you've never seen none of the Bring It Ons, watch Bring It On. Like, that shit really is mental. Because it's so much pressure, but, like, you want to do so good. And that some of that shit seems impossible. Some of that shit... Oh, oh, most of that shit is dangerous as fuck. But it's like you train so hard to do this shit, like... And you're gonna get out on that mat and, bitch, hit everything. Hit every stunt. Hit all jumps, like... Tumbling sequences, fire. Like, I mean, tumbling passes, fire. Like, that's what it's making me think of. Like, and I feel like other kids deserve that. Like, growing up, girls growing up anyway, like, even I want to have an adult team, everything, but that's besides the point. Like, this is something that, like, you're instilling this into other people, bro, who don't have it. They don't, like, there's, there's nothing or no one pouring into them in this way. And, like, here you come pouring into people. It's like it's almost like being a fucking motivational speaker, but that's not what you're doing. It's like you're 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 leading by example by living your life. And you're being respected for it, you're being recognized for it. Your strength is being recognized. Like you're not just being recognized for you, like for for being a person. Like you're not being recognized for your appearance or what it looks like. No, you're being recognized for like your character, your values, like what you the the things that you instill in other people through the ways in which you live your life, like the lifestyle you've cultivated and created for yourself. Nine of Pentacles with the Hermit. You're the true embodiment of this Virgoian energy. Because we live in the, I remind y'all all the time, we live in a Virgoian universe. We do. Period. That's why a lot of people want to be the king of pentacles. Because that's not, that's not per se Virgoian energy. That's actually more like Capricorn energy or Taurian energy. But it's like that. It's like people fuck with you, but they really fuck with like, who you are, like, who you really are, not not who you portray to be, but, like, who you genuinely fucking are, like, and they know you got it, they know you got it, but that's not what they focusing on, like, they want to hear what you got to say, they not coming to see, like, oh, this person gonna be giving out this, or they said they handing this out, or they said they, said they doing this, they gonna be, they gonna be giving away free shit, like, no, like, people just excited to come and see you and hear you talking, they just excited to be in the same place as you type shit. <clears throat> this is wild. That whole album is literally like playing in my head. Go listen to Quarter Waters Raise Me Too by Boss. If you can find it, you should be able to find it as a playlist. King of Wands. You're going to be crowned for this. Like, this person's crown is being taken away from them. You're going to be crowned as like the reigning power. If this is Game of Thrones, you, you're you the one on the throne now. You're the guardian of the, the realm. Because you're not guarding the realm because of what you can get from the realm. You're guarding the realm for the sake of guarding the realm. <laughs> like, preserving the integrity of the realm. 
we even have a fucking we have a bridge here in my city like that connects to pa because pa is right there i live like right by the river so like you can literally i could walk to pa and there's bridges all along the river that like you can go over to get over there but there's one bridge that's like famous it's the trend makes the world takes bridge and that shit is so true like So many things that come out of this place, so many people that come out of the place that end up benefiting in the world, but like, it, it's never done anything for the city. Like, nobody comes back and pours back into the city. <clears throat> but like I said, you about to put, wherever you from, you about to put that shit on the map, period. Like, it's like your city is gonna become a new tourist destination. The people who live there, it's like their net worth just because they live in that city is gonna like skyrocket. Like the the real estate go up. Like and it's not gonna gen it's like the opposite of like gentrifying. Your just your you your presence adds value. So like now people wanna be there, bring their businesses there. People who are from there, natives who already have businesses there, their businesses skyrocket because like now people wanna visit. Just because you're from there type shit. Like, you know how people, like, monumental people in, like, history, like, when they die, their houses become, like, a fucking museum or some shit like that. So you, like, you can't sell it. You can't knock it down. Like, it becomes, like, a historical landmark. And, like, people visit that place just to tour the house or tour their, their grave site or, um, you know, like, the things that were important in their journey is that type of shit. Like you're a, a living legend. You're you're becoming a living legend. A living legend. Your name is being written in the book of kings. Love that. <laughs> but you're gonna like you you have the same like there were a bunch of kings written in the book of kings, but it's like you're the one that stands out like Solomon did. Like everybody's gonna know your name. They're gonna know your name. Ace of Wands, they're gonna know your name. Because of what you're doing for your people, for the world, for, bro, it's you. Damn, this is so lit. Like the trials you went through, the shit you overcame. Like, people are gonna know every part of that shit. Damn, this is crazy. This is so crazy. I don't know, you might write a book. You might have a channel like I do. Like, this particular like platform for me has been everything. Cause this is where I got to tell my story. Like the good, the bad, the ugly, everything everything like y'all got to see me grow like we grew together <clears throat> seven of cups with the page of cups like you're revealing the false things too. And it's not like you're even doing it on purpose because this person is false. That could be another reason why they're in the dinosaurs because it's not like people are going to be pointing at them like, oh, you're fake, you're fake, you're fake. But it's like people aren't going to respect them in the same way because it's like the respect is not going to come from what you have. It's going to come from like, what have you done? Like, what have you done lately? What have you done lately? That actually helped people that wasn't financially. Like, did you help pe put people in a in a better position? Or was you just using what you got to for motivational purposes only? But you ain't really helping nobody. You ain't putting nobody on a no nothing. Like you, you, you flaunting the money, but you ain't putting nobody on to no money. You ain't putting nobody in positions to get their own money. And not in a way that you want them to get money on the way that you got money, but in a way that best suits them. Like are you giving people the instructions for them to help themselves? Or, or are you running around trying to be somebody's savior? Damn, 
somebody else was running around trying to pretend to be everybody's savior. You're showing people how to save themselves. <clears throat> the lovers. Yeah, you're giving people a choice. The lovers is a choice card. People get so wrapped up in the lovers and it's like, oh, it's about love. Well, the lovers is the lovers and the devil are my birth cards. And it speaks to choice. Will you choose for yourself or will you choose to be attached and controlled? Because either way, it's a choice. The lovers and the devil card are the same card in the traditional right away tarot anyway. I'm going to show y'all in this deck. Y'all can see what I'm talking about for those who don't resonate with tarot. And if you're interested in learning tarot, register for my Room 101 course. I'm actually going to change the name because it is a spiritual development course. It's a six-month spiritual development course. Um, registration is open until tourist season. So until the first day of tourist season. So you have time to register still. My um, website link is down below in the description box. Well, let me show y'all the lovers and the devil. Will you be guided by divine or will you be controlled by whoever the fuck? Let me go to lovers. That's crazy because this could be like a drug dealer or something like that. Like this could be somebody who like puts fear in, like who instills fear in people in order to even like be in a position to get whatever that money is like <laughs> well the lovers and the devil are the same card but it's all about perspective and choice the lovers teaches you you have a choice the devil convinced tries to convince you that you don't but even visually you can see it's the same card they're the same card you're helping people see that. That is really not that big of a difference. Like, you still have a choice. Even if you feel attached to the devil, I don't give a fuck. You still have a choice. You have a choice. You're reminding people that they have a choice and they don't fucking have to bow down. And you're showing them because whoever that is tried to make you feel like you didn't have a choice and you did not bow down to them. You say, yeah, bitch, fuck you. Or you just simply didn't pay them no fucking mind. And they might have been doing shit behind the scenes that people could see and it's clearly not phasing you. Like, so it's not even that you're like telling people, like you're not out there like talking at people. You're living in, like, you're doing the shit that you're talking about. You're not just talking about it. You're doing it. And people see you doing it, like. And at first, people might have been afraid because it's like, what type of shit did you want that, bitch, you, you, this person can't overcome you. We scared this person, so we don't know anything other than fear. But it's like you're teaching people that fear is a choice. You don't have to fear me. I'm not asking you to fear me. I'm not asking you to bow down to me. I'm not asking you to... I'm not asking you to respect me. You do because you see who I am. Like, Emperor, you see that I, I can help you grow. That I can help you bring stability. That I can help you bring discipline into your life. That I can free. It's not even that, that I can free you, but I can show you how to free yourself. Because I don't want to be your savior. I don't want to be your God. I don't want to take that place. If you're going to. It's like if you. I always say this. Like, I want to be like. I want to leave so big of a fucking footprint in this universe that, like, I don't ever have to reincarnate on this planet ever again because my name is never forgotten. The things that I develop, like I choose, well, one, because of like certain health things, I, I, I can't successfully have children. Like my body can't, and I'm not, I'm not gonna, like I could, I understand some people might be like, oh, don't say that. Like I've experienced that. I've been pregnant before. It really doesn't know, like it literally sucks the life out of me. I wouldn't do that to my body. 
why pressure myself to have children when I can just build a legacy that lives on for fucking ever? Like, I would rather do that. I would rather build libraries. I would rather have a school. I would rather write books. Like, I would rather do things that can live longer than a child would. To where my legacy consistently speaks for itself. So I'm not asking, like, I don't, because I don't ever want to feel, I don't want ever want nobody to feel like they have to worship me. Not in this life, not in no life. But I want to be a guide. I want to help people. I genuinely want to help people, like. And I want to start while I'm alive. Because what I do while I'm alive determines the legacy that I leave. Not what I can acquire. Anything that I acquire is meant to be left behind for others to enjoy. But I don't want to be a pharaoh. <clears throat> I just want to be a pillar. A tree. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm like, I'm literally like tearing up right now. But whoever you are, like, this is how you feel. And if this is how you feel, but you like... You don't know how to go towards it. Don't worry about it. Like the universe will set a path like for you to do exactly what it is you set out to do that you intend to do, especially if it's with pure intention. <laughs> this is like the type of shit people write, write, like make movies about. And there's somebody outside who is pissed because they feel like you're blocking them out. No, they just want attention. They want to be recognized. And they don't deserve it. There's a lot of people around you making noise to try to get your attention or to try to divert the attention from you, bro. And none of that shit is working. None of that shit is working. My fucking eyes are burning because I have shea butter on my, my hands. But, like, you have overcome some huge shit, bro. And it's like, you are you don't even care about being, like, seen or noticed. You just want to be able to just be free. It's like Solomon. Like, he asked for, he didn't ask for money and riches. He asked for wisdom. And because of it, he got everything else. Because you can have all the things in the world, but if you don't have the wisdom to know what to do with it, it won't matter. You'll just be another king. You'll just be another king. But yeah, in my spiritual development course, you guys will learn tarot if you don't already know it. But if you do, I'll be teaching my perspective, which is psychoanalytic tarot or Akashic tarot. Um... I'll be teaching you guys runes, astrology, um, the astral si astral sciences, uh, all that good shit. Like, literally everything I know, like, help with learning how to deal with ghosts and hauntings and when people try to send entities or ghosts or energies at you, like, because I'm a medium. But I've also had to experience that shit firsthand. Like literally everything I've learned on this journey, like I teach in this, in that course. <clears throat> and I'm excited for this to be my first time teaching it like formally. So you can register from the link down a little bit. Let's keep going. Seven is Whoever this person is, they're fucked up about this. Like, they don't even have time to think about. They, they really don't even have time to think about what you're doing because it's like, you're just, you're doing what you've, what you've been doing. So it's not like you're doing anything different. <clears throat> you just have a crown now. Or people recognize your crown now.
while they're having to like they're being it's like their own words are being used against them like this is how like when people be it would be a season where people be up and they be talking to people crazy and it's like one day the tables is gonna turn and all them words you say gonna come back to haunt you. It's that. It's like it's shit coming back to haunt this person. A lot of shit. They got the seven of swords. They got the seven of cups. While you over here with the ace of wands, with the pentacle. You got the pentacle. They the king of pentacles, but you got the pentacle. You possess the pentacle. You are the pentacle. You don't just. You're just. You're not just attached to the pentacle. You are the fucking pentacle. The king of pentacles is the only thing on their side. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles on your side. Because you're not just standing on your money. You're showing people how to get it. Come for fucking nation. <clears throat> And you're doing it authentic as fuck. Like, you're not trying to have on, like, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, you're not trying to show, like, influence people by showing off. Like, I always say, I hate when people, like, I hate that word. <laughs> but, like, I really dislike when people, like, go try to buy, like, the best things, like, expensive shit. And then, and People in my town do this all the time, but I wish they had other intentions for doing it. Like, I get you want other people to see, like, <clears throat> that you got emotion. But, like, show people you got emotion by, like, helping other people who don't have motion get motion. Like, let your work speak for you. Like, why you got to go buy designer clothes to be sitting up in, in, the, in the bar? Like, that's crazy. You're hanging out on the corner with designer clothes on? You're absolutely insane. You're insane. I guess you're just dressed for your funeral because <laughs> what the fuck else is the purpose? Okay, you're still in the fucking hood. What are you doing for the hood? Like, because don't nobody, can't nobody eat clothes, bitch. <clears throat> and you got them clothes because you praying on the people in the same place that you're from. I hate that. Like, no, I really do hate that. Like, and hate is a strong word. I hate that shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It it really speaks to ignorance. Like, and I hate ignorant people. Because that shit is a choice. Eight of Wands. Their, wor their own shit, like, their words are haunting them. Because it's like, it's like whatever you're saying is turning into sorts by the time it gets to this person. Not because you're intending for it to, but Eight of Wands is a message or fast movement. So it's like something is coming back. Like the, the wheel is turning faster than they expected it to. Like this is somebody thinking like, oh yeah, you might got motion now. But like, I've been having motion for like years. Like it's going to take you just as long, if not longer, than it took me to get where I am, like, and it, it didn't, it, 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 it took you way less time, it's taking you way less time, like, so, yeah, that motion that they got, hmm, interesting, I wonder where it's coming from, is it being driven by what they're being haunted by, <clears throat> like, do they feel targeted by you all of a sudden, if they a shark, bitch, you're a megalodon, you eat this motherfucker without even having to open up your mouth all the way. Swallowed up. <laughs> Bitch, you can swallow this person. They think they're a beast. Oh, I'm a bigger one. Like, and I can show you better than I can tell you. I'm a bigger one. Some might think they slick. Somebody think they slick, bitch. No, I can show you slick. I'm a. How about I show you rebirth and slick? Do 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 do. That's my shit. But it's like that. Somebody think they slick, but it's like nah, bitch. I'm the real thing. I don't know who the fuck you you. I don't know who the fuck these people thought you was, but you ain't even the real thing. I'm the real thing. Type shit. <laughs> Type shit.
It's like trying to be Duke Dennis. Like, no, bitch, Duke Dennis is Duke Dennis. Like, you could do everything that nigga do. You could say everything that nigga say. It's not going to have the same effect. Like, you're not going to get the same results. You're just not. Like, you're just not. And that's not to glaze all hard, but that's just the, that's just the reality. That's just the reality. That's just the reality. You can wear the same clothes. You can use the same lingo. You can do that. You can try to do the same thing he do. Like, no, bitch, you're not. It's it's not. It's not about what you do. It's how you do it, and it's just like you got the special sauce. You know, I got this house. You know, I'm saucy. Like you don't need a spit start. You just got it like that. <laughs> it's just like that, and. Even the people who wanted to be mad, even the people who wanted to hate, even the people who wanted to try to come after you, like, no, nah, their shit is catching up to them. So they ain't got time to focus on you. If anything, the only thing, the only reason they thinking of you is because they know you could help them too. And that's what makes you different than them because you're willing and able. You're not being prideful and being like, oh, no, you tried to harm me, so I'm not going to help you, like. Now, if the divine put obstacles in their way, then that has nothing to do with you. This like if somebody signed up for my course after they sat and tried to, like, attack me in every way possible. They signed up for my course. But then before the course even really start, they get locked up. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. I still, I still let you register for the course. I made it available to you, like... What 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 you the consequences you created for yourself have nothing to do with me. <clears throat> like people are about to they're about to have to recognize the divine one way or not. They're gonna recognize the gods, whatever one they believe in. They're gonna because whatever the god they believe in is the one that has power over them. Especially if they don't believe they are a god, the god that they worship. <clears throat> it's going to make itself very, like, very present to this person. It might even be on that type of level. Like, people, elders, it's like, yeah, nah, you can't fuck with that person. I can only respect that person. So you ain't got no choice but to do the same. Like, you do have a choice, but you could go outside if you want. But I wouldn't recommend it. Because a true king, like a true leader, they don't die in leadership. They do their job. They leave a legacy. And then they go on to live their lives. But people still recognize them for their leadership. It's like a president. Like you're remembered for the legacy you left while you were in office. Not because that's how you live the rest of your life. Like, the universe will kill you. Or have someone like, bitch, usurp your crown, your position, snatch it right from under you. And it'll be somebody right next to you. But that don't happen to everybody. Because some of us have fucking integrity. Like... I priestess with the three of wands. Some of us have integrity. Some of us know how to direct our energy. Some of us know what to do with the knowledge and the wisdom and the information that we're being given. We don't hold it over people's heads. We don't use it against people. Not intentionally. Some people kind of just like fall into it because that be their karma. And that's the reason for you being put in leadership so that you can not discipline with violence, but with truth. Discipline has nothing to do with violence. It has everything to do with aligning yourself with what's true. Not because that's what's what looks best or what sounds best. No, the truth is the fucking truth. And it ain't always pretty. Most of the time it ain't cute. It ain't shiny, it ain't glittery. It's, it be having dirt on it, like... The truth is a diamond in the rough. <clears throat> not the polished 
fucking one. The truth is a raw gem. It's a real pentacle. Straight from the fucking earth. Not something that somebody had to process and, and make look nice. No. The truth is the raw thing. Sometimes you gotta process the bullshit to get to the truth. Sometimes it, it, it gotta get a little dirty up. Sometimes your hands gotta get dirty in order for the truth to be exposed. But whatever this person and all, the, and all that shiny shit that they got going on, yeah, it's about to get real dirty. Shit is about to start getting real grimy. Literally. Heavy on the grimy game. It's about to start getting real fucking grimy. And that's that's because they set themselves up. They set themselves up, and for once, they can't blame it on you. Because how could you have possibly done that when they're the ones who made all of these choices? The moon. In the dark. But you reveal what's in the dark. Which means that there are no more fucking secrets. Bitch, there are no secrets. Everybody's secrets is coming out. Everybody. Can nobody hide. So either you align with the truth. Or you get swallowed up by it. Ace of Cups. <laughs> you have a choice. You can juggle like a fucking jester in the circus. Or you can be a vendor and display your true talents, your true gift. Juggling is a skill. It's not a gift. But cultivating something in your mind that's only in your mind, that's a gift. That's a gift. And you use a skill to master that gift. But it's not reliant on the skill. It is purely driven by the gift. And so it is because it is so family. Oh, shit. 